Hello everyone. Welcome back once again. Today we are going to cover HA configuration. So HA configuration is a very good topic. And if you are looking for a job and attending the interviews, you might have observed that the most of the questions are being covered from this topic. So this can be said like uh, interview affinity topics. And this is really important as well because this covers redundancy, right? So if any of your firewall goes down or then another can take it over and your traffic is going through, your services are not going down. So this is really important. So that's why it is asked in the interviews. So I have covered the theoretical concept in the part one. And in this session, we are going to cover up the lab session, right? That how exactly we configure the HA in Palo Alto. In order to demonstrate that, I have taken two fire, Palo Alto firewalls. This is Palo Alto firewall 1 and this is Palo Alto 2, right? So the setup is like this. Uh, we are having IP addresses 192.168.1.1 here. That is basically will be used to manage it. So we will be accessing GUI from this machine and uh, the similarly, uh, the GUI of the Palo Alto 2 will be accessible from this machine using IP address 10.1.1.1. I have taken a test setup like this 192.168.2.1. I will use this machine to ping to internet like this. So this will be your internet here. And uh, in order to get the IP address here, so here it will be some IP address 192.168.2.10. So and I have not written that one, but uh, it will be like 2.10. And uh, that configuration I have already done in the uh, firewall to save the time, else most of the time goes there. And uh, that's it, I think, nothing else. And uh, if you go to the real environment, you might be seeing here what I have taken the uh, machines here. So it can be like internal network and uh, most of the services running on this one. So your servers, uh, machines, uh, your thousand of computers will be here, like in this environment behind this switch. So that's how the setup is there in the uh, real environment. So let's just uh, go to the setup here. All right. So let me open this uh, Palo Alto firewall one using this machine here. All right. So I think this should be opened. Yeah, here it is. And if I go to the HA configuration as of now, this year high availability and it is currently not available right so this is saying that ha not enabled so we will set up that how to enable that ha here how to go there for that we use this our device tab we see this is the device here and here we are having an option set up high availability. So this is our high availability. You can click here and you will see these many of the options. The first and very important thing as we discussed, that is our group ID. So if I go configuration one by one, right? Let me open this setting here. Group ID should be same in both of the devices where we are going to configure our HA like uh, if the two machines are in the HA pair right so this machine uh, Palo Alto 1 and Palo Alto 2 I should not say the machine basically they are the firewall so the two firewalls Palo Alto 1 and Palo Alto 2 they should be in the same group ID right so if I click it here so normally you can give any of the numbers here right but the limit is there let me just check it what is the limit that is 1 to 63 right you can see it here 1 to 63 so it likes the multiple pairs but the numbers you can set between only this, uh, these values so i'm setting it here 10 here and the same 10 i will be configuring on the uh, peer firewall it means that i am right now on the uh, 192.168.1.1 basically this machine whenever i will be configuring this palo alto 2 then also i have to give the same group id if the group id is different they will not be in ha pair description you can mention if you want like change number or whatever the information you want to give it to the viewer later on 
modes we have two modes active passive and active active right now i'm going to configure it as an active passive and uh, enable config sync it means that whatever the configuration will be on this firewall will be synced up with the another one all right so uh, this is like uh, uh, only the normal configuration will be synced up this uh, ha configuration will not go over there it means that uh, like if you have set the group id 10 here then automatically 10 will go automatically over there it will not happen like that one right so this ha configuration are never being synced up just always keep in mind so remaining like whatever the policies nat configuration url filtering remaining like management or snmp other configuration will be synced up to the uh, peer firewall but not this ha ones now next thing is our peer ha1 ip address so whenever we are having like ha pair we are having one ha1 and ha2 link between them so i have taken the ethernet 1 slash 3 for the palo alto 1 and uh, same interface on the palo alto 2 ip addresses i will be using 1.1.1 here in the palo alto 1 and 1.1.1.2 1 at palo alto 2 so though these are like not routable in your network outside so here you can take any of the ip addresses and people prefer this in the production environment as well but you can just use them of your choice or if you want to make them standard you can choose any of the other ip addresses as well next thing that these interfaces ethernet 1 slash 3 should be on the ha means that interface type should be ha so if you observe it here if i give ip address 1.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1, right uh peer ha1 ip so the peer will be over 1.2 because i am at right now at 1.1.1 .1 so the peer ip address will be 1.2 so this configuration is okay i hit it okay here these are the value i'm not committed yet all right and uh, active passive settings so these you can look on to that right now they are in the auto and uh, i want them in auto there's nothing to worry about that monitor fail hold down time is in the minutes that is one that it will be monitoring that the peer has been failed or not right if you want to change this setting you can change it from here next thing is our election settings we can set the device priorities so here the device priority is 50 you can change it to any of them by default it is 100 in all of the devices uh, i think i might have changed earlier so that's why it is 50 not to worry so let it be 50 and uh, if you want to make the preemptive preemptive means that uh, uh, if any of the firewall goes down so let us suppose this firewall 1.1 .1 goes down then other firewall will be the active one but if this firewall restores or comes back automatically again this will be the active one it means that whenever our down firewall comes back it will take the responsibility back but by chance uh, you know in the production environment we do not prefer this we do not want to uh, dis, uh, enable this preemptive because we suspect that if any of the firewall is going down or has gone down then it might be something suspicious on that web uh, firewall right so what we do we prefer to check it manually then only we uh, make the uh, failover like from active to passive or passive to active so normally we do not uh, enable this one and the ha timers are recommended as of now now you can use aggressive or advanced as per your requirement so if you like the recommended so it will be taking the default timers and if you choose aggressive they are like a little bit higher so by default it was like i think three milliseconds now it will be more frequently but if you want you're not satisfied with any of them you want to choose of your choice then you can go to for the advanced setting and then you can choose any of these values whatever you want so i'm going for the recommended one i don't want to make my palo alto firewall overloaded all right here it's okay and the next thing is our uh, our ha1 link so ha1 link will be 
management right now but i wanted 1 slash 3 right so if you see here 1 slash 3 is not visible here so why because we have not configured as uh, our this 1 slash 3 interface as an HA interface so for that what we will do we will go to the networks we see that all interfaces are here and this our 1 slash 3 is configured as tap but this should be configured as HA so we go to the interface select the interface type as an HA that I want to use this interface as an HA all right now if I go to the firewall once again, like our HA configuration, now you see that one slash three will be visible here. Now here it is. We will select it, and IP address of that one slash three will be, you know, what it is. We will set it as one dot one dot one dot one. The same these values. Let me show you again. These values one dot one dot one dot one. Subnet mask you can put to 255.255.255.0, but uh, I'm just putting it as a 252. All right, so that does not matter much. And as there's nothing in between, so there's a default gateway is not required because they are directly connected. But if they're like uh, your firewalls are far away and you are having something routers in between or some other complex network, then you need the gateway as well. So this is all set here. HA2 links I'm not using, but, but in the production environment, we highly prefer these one. So we configured HA1 backup as well and HA2 and HA2 backup so on, all, uh, as well, right? So let me show you this setting. So here we see that enable session synchronization. So this is like stateful or stateless synchronization. So right now I'm not enabling it because as I said, uh, it is not required, but in the production environment, we highly recommend it and we use it all right so let's see our commit it first and later on we will go to the firewall 2 right so let me open it here and uh, open the palo alto 2 okay no not i have don't have to open this directly i have to go to this windows machine so that i can configure the GUI right so let me log in it meanwhile it is committing as well so the commit will be successful very soon I think it was yeah so commit is successful and now if we see our the dashboard so the HA is not is still showing in a not enabled why it is that I think I forgot to click HA enable yeah I forgot to click enable HA let me do it again the most important thing <laughs> so i enable ha and commit it now now our ha configuration is uh, enabled right enable ha is done and now let's check our dashboard so this is how it is currently mode is our active passive local is active and we don't have any information regarding the peer and all so because we have not configured our peer device so let's go here and first thing we are going to configure the interface as an HA that's all right go to here this is set go to the our high availability and very first thing I'm going to do the enable HA. I don't want to forget it again. Group ID, I can set it as 10. Description, I don't want to give. And the peer HA1 IP address was 1.1.1.2. .1 now, uh, here it will be 1. I always get confused. And this is OK. And these things uh, I'm not going to change. So here device priority is 100. And on the other one, it is 10. So that is fine and next thing is our management port i'm going to give it as one slash three and the ip address here it was one dot one dot one dot two and uh, two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two five two all set gateway not required same setting what we just did on the other one and uh, that's commit that's it
we will also see that which firewalls become active we are having the device priority 100 here and uh, another one is having device priority as 50 right so let's check that value that will be on the device ha so here we have the value as 50 and in this uh, one we are having the 100 so this is configuration is done now let's check the status here in the so now you see that all settings are done and it has elective elected this device as an active right so this firewall is active one so the priority of this uh, firewall should be higher right so the priority higher means that lower numerical value so it, the 50 should be here no it is not it is 100 let's check other one okay this is passive okay local is passive sorry i was just uh, messed up the things so the local one is passive so the 100 uh, this is passive so it means that here it will be 100 right so i was just checking the wrong thing so that is perfect so lower numerical value is means that another firewall this one this is 50 so this will be the active one right so this is local is active and the period is passive and the running configuration are synchronized with another one if you want to uh, see the local and peer running config difference you can click it here and you can check that what are the difference in the config so that's how you can look on to that what are the major difference so you see that ip addresses are cha a little changed that is basically for the management so let us not worry to concern and i don't want to uh, so you have to just check that these values are not synced up all right and uh, now let's me try to ping our dns server right so here it will be our uh, network if i open this machine here and it might not be visible to you so oh, it is not coming okay here we are now if i want to ping our google dns then it is pinging right that's it on the ha configuration and if you have any questions so don't just forget to write on the comment sections i will be happy to help you on those queries all right and just uh, don't forget to practice it because uh, if you practice it then only you get confident all right guys see you soon in the next session till that bye bye